Hello, my name is Daniel, and in this video, I'm just going to show how to bind events to buttons. What that basically means is how to make a button do something when it's pressed. Now, before uh, I do anything else, uh, first thing I'm going to do is just import some things at the top, the feature statements. And if you don't know what these are, these basically uh, what they do is make it easier to port your code to a newer version. So let's say you have Pi 2 code and you want to port it to Pi 3 code. If you already have these in place when you were uh, building your Pi 2 code, uh, this will basically make it easier to port. Um, but don't just uh, plug the plug these in here without knowing what they do. Uh, I recommend you look up and find out what each uh, single statement does, because uh, it changes changes the behavior of your program on some things. All right, so after that, um, uh, we're gonna start creating uh, buttons. So first off, before we start doing buttons, we need to know the documentation for buttons. So I'm going to look at the documentation of buttons, and here it is, all of this on what it accepts, and give, basically gives a little summary of what a button is, but we already know what a button is. So let's look at the parameters. Self, uh, that's what every program needs, every class. Uh, the window parent, so it needs something that is parent, that it belongs to, the ID, that that distinguishes it from every other thing. The label, the, basically the text, the position, the size, the style. Yep. So basically, all the widgets in WX have the same parameters. There's only a couple that are different. But uh, yeah, that's the documentation. So now there's the self, the which means it's the parent. There's the label, which shows uh, what what the text should be, and then there's the position. So there you go. So that's so that's uh, we've already been building buttons since the previous videos. But what I'm going to do next is how to bind buttons. Now there's two ways to bind buttons basically. One is doing self dot bind, and then passing yada yada, and the other one is doing the self dot the button, which is the the object. So for example, it's button this time, and then accessing its bind method, bind. There you go and then building it up yada yada so yeah so um the way i'm gonna do it is first uh doing the self oops self dot bind this method and though the first parameter that it's going to accept is the type of event that's be going to that's going to happen so the type of event is a button event so we do wx dot ebt slash button but everything's going to be in uppercase just like that and then after that it's going to want the um, what's it call it the handler what sh what method should be called to take into to happen whenever the button is pressed so in this case I'm just gonna do a lambda just a quick example and it's gonna take an event and the thing that it's going to do is just print stuff to the screen there you go and then the event should be attached to what object? That is the self dot button object. There you go. So now to prove to you guys that it actually works, I'm gonna run it. And there you go. So every time I press the button, look at that. Bam. And when I press this one, nothing, because we haven't told it what to do when it's being pressed. So um so let me explain what this uh, parameter, the event, EBT parameter is. So whenever you create a bind method for a button or basically any other widget, WXPython is always going to pass in an event uh, object. An event object can hold multiple things. Uh, one example that it can hold is the type of object that caused the event, for uh, which in this case is the button. There you go, which is the button. Alright, so then I have to show you guys a second way of binding the button. Self that, um, well, binding events, I mean objects in general. Button.to, accessing its bind method. And then what it's going to take in is basically the same thing as this one the type of event and what to call when it's being pressed. So self that, um, uh, on click. There you go, we just pass in the reference to the, to the method that should be called. Notice that we don't have to pass in what what event, I mean what object, because uh, 
over here we're binding it already it knows that this event is going to belong to this object right here it doesn't know it just says hey we're gonna bind something so we're gonna tell you um, what object should we bind it to alright so let's create the on click there's a self and then the next parameter is the event remember that it always passes in then after that we're just gonna do on click there you go so now if we run it the button should display that random string of text bam there you go and number two should uh, display click on click yep there you go now um, I can change this whole thing and call um, oops and call the on click to so now both of them will display the same thing on click on click on click on click see there you go just like that so that's that's basically how you bind events to buttons and that was that's pretty much it all right so uh, yeah